feels like my body is like in two parts. Like my top half <laughs> is like, all right, I'm tired. I'm done now. We are here at Finish Line Physical Therapy in New York City, and we're here because they have an Alter G, which is an anti-gravity treadmill, and we're gonna give it a try. Brianna is here with uh, some complaints of knee pain, so today we're gonna get her on the Alter G to see if we can uh, fix her issues. The Alter G treadmill is a training device, a rehabilitation device. The Alter G uses air pressure to unweight somebody by up to 20 to 80 percent of their body weight. I'm hoping by getting on the anti-gravity treadmill, I can diagnose my issue, which may help some other people figure out what they're doing wrong so they can have less pain too. So these are the shorts that you're going to use to uh, run the Alter G today. And try to pull them up as high around your waist as you can. And I'm going to bring this up. Guess I'm stuck now. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is turn on the machine. It's going to calibrate your body weight. Once she's on the treadmill running, I want to know that she's feeling 100% pain free. What we'll do is we'll take this down 30%. You weigh 100 pounds, now this is as though you weigh 70 pounds. Run and then you can tell me. I guess running on clouds would be a good description. It's not like water because there's no resistance. Yeah. It's like yeah. I'm like leaping from cloud to cloud. <laughs> <Weird>. <laughs> so during the evaluation we talked about a couple of things that you can work on while you're running and this is a great tool for you to be able to do that because you have a lot more control than you would on a treadmill right, or yeah. outside. The first one I want you to work on is when you run, you typically turn your feet slightly out. I want you to think about turning your feet slightly in. It feels really awkward. Because you're so used to turning out, it's gonna feel like you're really turned in, but yeah. you're probably gonna be more in a neutral position, which is where we want you to be. Once you get the hang of that, I wanna start working on where you strike on your foot. You typically land with a heel strike. Your heel is the first part of your foot that hits the ground. I want you to start thinking about landing more midfoot. Three quarters of the foot from the ankle bone up is landing as you land. What that's gonna help with is allow you to land below your center of mass instead of out in front. It like makes me shorten my stride. Shorten your stride yeah. a little bit, exactly. You're gonna shorten your stride a little bit. And it's good, it's exactly what we want. It's taking me a lot of like concentration to keep that form. I don't know if I'd be able to do it on a normal treadmill or outside. This so far is helpful because since I'm not feeling that pain, I can like focus on those two changes you asked me to make. How are we doing? Good. Okay, you ready to uh, get out? Yes. We're gonna go ahead and hit stop. Now that you're off the treadmill, how are you feeling? I mean, I feel, right now I feel pretty good, like better than after a typical run. My knee is not feeling tight and I'm, I don't, as of yet, don't feel any like sharp pains which I typically do feel after I'm running outdoors this morning, yeah. I'll have pain. So. so one of the things that we want to work on is, or discuss is how you feel tomorrow. That's an important aspect of the, the whole program. Does that sound like a good plan? Yeah, sounds like a plan. Let What's me get the, these shorts Yeah, get the shorts off. off. <laughs> now that I'm off, I do feel like I had my problem diagnosed. Like I was landing on my heel and I was turning out a little bit, which I wasn't even aware of. I think it's going to be very hard to retrain my body, but I do think Having a tool like this, which really focuses your mind on those issues, can help me fix it a lot faster. I think in the long run I could correct it. It will be hard, but I can do it. Hey NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.